Hey guys, welcome back. Um, see these two things over here? Ooh, I think I found some UFO. UFOs. spaceship that feels kind of like I walked into a 1970s movie with this round bar. One thing I noticed that's really cool is look at this bed. Notice how this is cut like that and at that edge you can kind of tell that it's cut as well so pretty cool as it accommodates the bathroom. And you can even tell in here Everything in here is also round. Everything is round. These shelves are kind of curved. This bathtub is curved. There's no sharp edges anywhere. Except for the back. All right, aside from the round UFO looking things, there are also these uh, rectangular shaped ones right here. platforms so all of them have a little staircase like this and they all have their own little balcony like this one or that one just a little observation I made it's pretty cool they're all abandoned though it's kind of odd Ta -da! <laughs> Mosquito bites galore. I'm getting devoured out here. Look at this. Two mosquitoes. bulb thingies. These things are everywhere. I just know that these things were designed by a Finnish architect back in the 1960s and 70s. That was when retro-futuristic was kind of cool and that was a sort of an in thing to do. But as far as the ones here in Taiwan, it seems like maybe they might not be the real thing or it seems like it may have been a holiday resort at one point and unfortunately it didn't really turn out that well. It makes sense because we're right next to the beach but um, yeah, it's kind of odd. There's not much information about this place. Still pretty cool though. Looks like what they did is they built a building around it and incorporated the pod into a newer building. So you get the benefits of a newer building and the retro vintage feel of the pod, which is actually a really good idea. Alright everybody, 
think that's about it for the UFO tour. Didn't find any aliens today, unfortunately, but uh, found some really, really cool retro vintage pods that were designed at least in the 1960s and 70s. Not sure when they were exactly built. I found them really cool. They're actually really chill, and really nice to uh, hang out inside in. It's right next to the beach, as you can tell. I love the ocean, so that's automatically 10 out of 10 for me. It's pretty quiet out here. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna get pretty creepy at night. The wind's officially picked up, so I'm not getting attacked by mosquitoes anymore, which is a good thing. I probably got bitten, I don't know, 20, 30 times. So I'm gonna have to go home and figure that out later. But um, yeah, thank you for joining me on this adventure. It was pretty fun. Never knew Taiwan had a place like this before. And it continues to um, fuel my growing enthusiasm for architecture and interior design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace!